guys, Sleepy Ring here, and today we are trying out something new on the channel. Uh, we are doing a Pokemon trading card game online, uh, just a match of, yeah, whatever. I sort of took the idea from Andrew Mahone, uh, who does competitive videos all the time. So I'll be doing a Zoroark Glizzpod deck. It's basically just Tord Reklev's deck, but just uh, sort of edited up just for my tastes just simply because I've tried it his way didn't really sit with me so I tried it out my way and it works a little better or like just for me anyway so uh it looks like we've got a match now fire and water so it sounds like we will have a uh Vulcanian deck uh playing up against us now Alrighty, hopefully we can yep we land that uh um the heads, which is always good. I always like to go first. I prefer uh, going for... Oh, and we've got a really good setup, actually. Uh, all we need now is a Cynthia or something. But uh, we've got the uh, Coco, which I love to use. Um, and we've got a Wimpod, so it's not bad. We've got the Bridget. We can start getting up some Zoroark set out. And there's a Zoroark. So, alrighty, we're going to Bridget and... Probably just drop, uh, drop an energy here, and that is our turn. So, um, obviously Zoroark is uh, seeing a mainstay in the meta at the moment. Oh, what's going on out here? Alright. Uh, okay, it's a Salander. Oh, it might be a Salazzle deck. Uh, Salazzle and maybe Volcanion, I guess? Yeah, there's Volcanion now. So, it's probably a Volcanion and Salazzle deck, which is fine. I'm not really too worried about that. But uh, if we get this set up right, we probably could get a really quick knockout here. If this comes up as a... Uh, with a Glissopod or an Ultra Ball. So, let's see. We do not have it, but that is alright. Uh, I'm fine with that. And I need a DCE sooner or later, because Coco spreads a lot of damage around. And it's just a bit of fun to use, plus it's got free retreat. Which means setting up... Um, Alright, what's going on here? They're setting up... The, yeah, they are setting up Salazzle. So, alrighty. They're going to set up the Volcanion, I think. Uh, they're going to... What are they doing here? What are they dumping? Uh, just some energy, okay. So it might be that they're using... Yeah, I was going to say, they're using a Volcanion. Alrighty, uh, what are they doing here? Dunsparce user is the name, and Salazzle is their game. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll put out the Zoroark, just so I can try and get this Glissapod in. Uh, that's not what I want, I don't really need a Bridget at the moment. I sort of want to get uh, a DC or a Glissapod. Oh, I got that I guess. I blow away the, uh, the two tools that they've got. Uh, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, because I've sort of got myself in a bit of a pickle. Um, I might as well start setting up this up as Zoroark. As Zoroark. And... Pff, what am I going to do? Oh, alright. I'll just let sacrifice this one. Um, need to get a, uh, a another Zoroark set up, so hopefully we can get the Glistopod ready. Hopefully, this episode won't be uh, an embarrassment and a loss, but who knows what will happen. So, what are they doing here? Um, so, obviously, you've got the uh, the steam up with the Volcanion EX. I'm going to be glad once that's out of rotation, because I'm sort of sick of these cards. Um, Salazzle. I've never really played against Salazzle. I just never saw the appeal of it. I mean, there's not really any appeal, I guess, but... Queen's Haze GX, discard all energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Only the active, so yeah, it's not very, uh, not very splendiferous, or whatever you want to say. Uh, alrighty, this is, yeah, starting to not look very good. We need to get another Zoroark set up. And we don't, so we're going to trade. Hope to God that we get another Zoroark. Or something, uh, we're gonna have to sick them all. We need to get that uh, Glissopod. There's the Glissopod there. We've got two Glissopods, that's alright. 
Um, Alrighty, what can we do here? Uh, might as well start getting set up this uh, other uh, the Zoroark down here. And there it is. So we have no more Zorowas in, in uh, the deck, so they must be either in the prizes. Alrighty. Hoping to get a DCE here. Uh, do I want to get rid of the Cynthia or the Sycamore? I'll get rid of Sycamore. Alrighty, let's see. Can we get a DCE? We do get a DCE, which is really good. Um, so what I'll do is I'll retreat out. I'll drop the Crossing Cut GX for the 150, and I'll jump back in with the Sorowak and hope to God that he doesn't take a huge hit here. I mean, he should only either take 110, sorry, 140 because of the choice band, or yeah, who knows what's going to happen here. Um, alrighty. So, I think... Even though there are two prize cards up, I'm pretty sure I can get this thing killed. Um, let's just see where this goes. If they want to speed up their move. Oh, they're doing a Cynthia. What have they got in the discard? It's good that they got the float zone out because these Volcanians here are really uh, tanky. They're very slow. Uh, especially with the power heater. I want to get that power heater out quick. What is that? That is a ho -O GX. So it is a bit of a mishmash deck that this dude's running. Uh, alrighty. Hopefully this, uh, this goes well. I'm still relatively new to the deck as well. I did play uh, Zoroark Decidueye at uh, the Oceanic Internationals. Um, I, I feel it works. Situ it's a very situational deck. It wants you got to get that very quick setup, otherwise it it falls flat. And stuff like Tapu Koko, uh, just the regular one, really uh, ends up hurting it. Uh, what are we doing here? I guess we will. Uh, what are we gonna do? I want to start getting this other Zoroark set up. So I might DCE and Choice Band. This one down here. Oh, well, never mind. This one's got the. Uh, well, I might have messed this up. <laughs> Alrighty, we're gonna get rid of that Zoroark. Uh, what we'll do is attach. What am I doing? What am I doing? Alright. I think I might have just used the only Ace Roller in my deck as well, like discarded it earlier. Uh, and we'll trade off that Cynthia, and we got nothing good. Alright. We're just gonna have to ride a speeding for the knockout, and hope to god that uh, this Zoroark in front doesn't take a huge hit. But it probably might. I'm not sure what really. There's nothing here that can sort of do a heap of damage at the moment. Maybe unless this dude evolves uh, the Salazzle. Uh, into Salazzle here. Otherwise we could get another cheap knockout. Or I'd probably be looking more towards retreating it. Uh, Alright there. Or, or I could do Guzmer as well I guess. Um, what's this? I got one. What's. The, it's one, yeah, it's one thirty or one twenty, I think. I can't, angle, uh, I can't fucking do math. Yeah, it's one hundred and twenty. So with a choice band, it'll be one hundred and fifty. Uh, so I can probably, I can take that out straight away. Um, well, not with a choice. Never mind. I don't know how to do commentary. <laughs> Alrighty, so they are setting up another slander, which means it's probably another slazzle, I guess. But that is all right. I think we're sort of in the lead. Not really. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, they're probably going to get the knockout on the Zoroark. Because they are setting up the next Salazzle. And they can do Queen's Claw. Uh, Queen's... What's the thing? The Diabolical Claws. That's it. I'm thinking of Queen's Haze. I have gone through a big chunk of my deck as well. Yep, there's that. So they're probably going to either do... Yeah, they're going to do Diabolical. No, they didn't. Wow, okay. That's a little weird. Alrighty. Um, hmm. We could... What I'll do... Is I'll 
starts, oh, uh, well, hang on, no, what I'll do is I'll get out that ace roller again. I'll trade, uh, uh, what am I doing, all right, trade, hope to get a DCE to put on the next, all right, that's all right, um, hmm, well, uh, alrighty. If this Pokemon was on the bench and became active, right, this should be okay. This should work well, I think. I hope to God it does. Uh, but they could also have another energy there, which would be a pain in the butt. Uh, we will set up this Sorowa. Okay. And I think that's fine. We will do first. What am I? What are we gonna do here? Well, these, uh, I think yeah. We'll just do first impression. So that's 150 with the choice band. Only if it comes in from the bench that turn. So hoping he doesn't get the other energy. If not, we're going to take a huge hit here because it's got the weakness. They are shuffling their deck, so they are probably going for the other energy. And knowing Volcanion players, they carry a lot of energy. Uh, we could potentially... Oh, there goes the Glissopod. He is going to get dropped. Oh, okay, what are they doing here? Ah, oh, they're dropping the... Okay. What we could do, I guess, is... Yep, okay, that's fine. So they're going to take another two prize cards. What I think I will do is... All right. Because now we've got these other two Zoroarks down here. We'll get ready to go. Hopefully. How many cards? We've only got 15 cards left. All right. We will hit the Rider Speeding. We're not going to worry about trading because at this point we're already pretty low on cards. So I do have the two Guzmas. I, I love using Guzma as a trick up the sleeve sort of card. Uh, because I think that's all the Guzma is really good for. And I like that. All right, what's this? Hunter's Nails. If your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this does 120 instead of 60. Com wow, okay. Burned, confused and, confused and poisoned. I can't English. I can't even uh, commentate either. But we... This could go anywhere at the moment. I like a games like this where you don't know who's got the upper hand sort of thing. I think in the long run, this dude has the upper hand, but who knows what, where, where this will sort of go. Uh, they could attach it. They could probably... What are they doing? All right. Panic poison. Okay. So they are setting this up. We could... What are we going to do here? We do have the Guzmas. And we could get a really cheap knockout on that Volcanion, which he probably needs as well. Um, Alright, we'll just play... Ah, he conceded! Okay then. Well, I guess that's a, a decisive victory, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.